Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explored. My name is Usman Chaudhary and today in this video we are going to uh, take some SOLIDWORKS simulations to evaluate whether uh, our this acrylic sheet will bear the load of this 44 kg weight or not. So um, by doing so we will uh, find the stress, displacement, strain and at the end we will find the factor of safety. To know whether uh, this sheet will bear the load of this weight or not or it will break so keep watching this video till end and if you are interested to do this uh, simulation by yourself then I will leave the download link to these files in the description of this video so keep watching this video till end let's start so press this new key and start a new project by using assembly so select assembly and then press ok button and uh, then cancel this dialog and also close this um, option now go to the folder where we have saved all uh, the related parts of this assembly so select all these three parts and drop them in the assembly so select as machined uh, the configuration and press ok button now press and hold control key from your keyboard and then click and drag this elbow to make its duplicate. Right click on the elbow and uh, make it float. Select this face and this face. Make their coincident relation. This face and this face. Make their coincident relation. Also a coincident relation of this face and this face of the sheet. Now select this face and this face, press um, coincident relation. For multiple uh, selection of the objects, press and hold control key. Make coincident relation. Now last coincident relation between this face and this face. Now we have to uh, put this weight on this face of the sheet so coincident relation then select the cylindrical face and this face of the sheet and this face of the sheet make their width made press ok button once again select the cylindrical face and this face of the sheet and this face of the sheet and make their width made now if you drop down this feature manager uh, of the sheet and then select front plane of the sheet and front plane of the assembly make their coincident made also select top plane of the assembly and top plane of the sheet and they make their coincident made similarly for right plane you have to do the coincident mate. Now before starting the simulation we have to assign the materials to all our parts. So for that um, right click on this weight and then if you can see here uh, the materials option then go to edit material and then select AISI 304 apply and then close. Similarly, we have uh, angle. So, for both angles, select this angle and from there, this angle. Right click and then materials, added material, and same material AISI 304 and press OK button. Now, as we are going to make this sheet uh, for acrylic material, so right click and then select material, added material, and uh, then if you can see here plastics and here is the acrylic apply and close now we have to turn on solidworks simulation so for that we have to move uh, to solidworks add-ins and then from here we have to turn on the solidworks simulation in case if you did not see uh, this solidworks add-ins tab here so for that um, click on this arrow next to the setting button and then from here you can see here is add-ins so click on add-ins and then check this box solidworks simulation and press ok button 
so i am going to turn on it from here solid wax simulation so as you press this solid wax simulation button uh, simulation tab will be appeared here so click on solid wax simulation and then click new study so at this time we are going to simulate static analysis on solid wax so select static and then press ok button so now one by one we have to apply uh, different conditions or uh, um, our inputs to this solid wax simulation so first of all we have to verify that uh, we have applied materials or not so if you have uh, if you can see here is the uh, green color tick mark uh, which means that we have applied material to all our parts so next step is that we have to define the connections between all parts so right click on connections and then select component connection or uh, component contact so uh, we have to uh, tell the solid wax that um, this acrylic sheet will be bonded on uh, this elbow both these elbows so for that um, select bonded and then uh, select the parts this part this part and this part instead of incompatible mesh mesh uh, select compatible mesh and press ok button the next step next step is that we as we are going to fix uh, these both these elbows with the ball so these both faces will be fixed with the ball so now uh, what we have to do we have to tell the solid wax that um, our uh, these two elbows will be fixed with the ball so for that right click on fixture and from here select fixed geometry and then select this face and this face so uh, these two faces uh, the whole assembly will be fixed from these two faces then press ok button after uh, applying fixture we have to tell uh, the solid wax that our geometry have some load so what kind of load we are going to apply we are going to apply simply the gravity so for that right click on external load and from here select gravity so here if you can see gravity is in this direction in case if you uh, see this dialog like this empty then you have to drop down these feature this feature manager and from here select the uh, top plane so if you can see the arrow is in this direction in case if you see this arrow in the opposite direction so to resolve that issue check this option reverse direction this is the uh, value of the gravity and press ok button now we have to create the mesh so for that right click on the mesh and then select create mesh this is the mesh quality or mesh density so uh, the more fine you make the mesh the more accurate results you will get but on the other hand the, your pc or your computer will take more time to resolve these analysis so um, for this moment i am going to make it uh, the average then press ok button to create mesh so once the mesh is done uh, simply click on this button run this study if during the calculation you face uh, this issue of excessive displacement press yes to continue so uh, by doing by pressing yes button you will uh, get more accurate results so press yes button it will recalculate so here if you can see the large displacement uh, mode is on so by doing that we will get accurate results but on the other hand your pc will take uh, more time as compared with the normal displacement mode so these are the results and uh, if you scroll down from here and this is the stress and this is the displacement and this is the strain results so if i click on displacement and uh, here if you can see deformation scale is 1 which means that uh, i right click and then select animate so maximum uh, 
the displacement of the acrylic sheet will be like this now how do we know will this acrylic sheet will hold this load or not so for that uh, we have to calculate the factor of safety and for that uh, right click on the results and from here select define factor of safety plot uh, from here select all and then click on this next arrow select one multiplication factor and then next and select uh, this one and press ok button so here if you can see the factor of safety is 0 0.84 which means that this sheet will not hold this weight and it will break the sheet will not break if the factor of safety is above one so what should we do to uh, make the factor of safety above one there are some solutions first of all we can add uh, one more one more beam like like this or we can make this sheet thicker so let's try the second option um, open the sheet and make it thick so for that edit extrude post command and instead of one type here 2 mm thickness and press ok button then go to assembly again and then static one rebuild the assembly and then right click on the mesh and recreate the mesh press ok button now rerun this study so um, click on this button So these are the results with the 2mm thick sheet. Now uh, click on displacement and as you can see this deformation scale is 1. So this is the maximum displacement uh, which will occur if we put this 44 kg weight on this acrylic sheet. Next is that we have to check what is this factor of safety. So double click on the factor of safety and here is the 1.2. Uh, the factor of safety so it means that this acrylic sheet will uh, bear the load of this weight so i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this